Karens are known for doing some of the most outrageous things and getting away with them. But what happens when they become the center of an unfolding crime? Here are seven satisfying times Karens got humbled and served with instant karma. What started as a normal night took a disturbing turn after the cops got a call that a woman at a McDonald's drive-thru threatened an employee with a gun. Police located the suspect's vehicle and found the driver still holding the firearm. Put that gun away! Put it down! The suspect, Kavi Young, had aimed her gun at the McDonald's employee because they didn't have what she requested on the menu. That alone was enough reason to throw her in handcuffs. But it gets worse from there. Kavi went into full defensive mode, denying ever threatening the employee. I did not threaten her with nothing, sir. At all. I did not threaten her with nothing. However, after reviewing the security footage, the officers concluded that Kavi was lying and detained her. Even though she later confessed that the gun wasn't loaded, Kavi was taken into custody, faking facing charges of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, without intent to kill, open carry of a weapon, and driving with a suspended license. Drop the knife now! Drop it now! In 2022, police body cam captured the disturbing moment when a woman holding a pocket knife and threatening people finally faced the consequences for her dumb actions. The woman, later identified as 32-year-old Brenda Jo McGowan, had earlier stormed into a Walmart store, wielding a brick and threatening customers. Later, she picked up a knife and used it to continue intimidating people. Drop the knife now! Drop it now! Despite several warnings from the police instructing her to drop the weapon, Brenda stood there, awkwardly clutching the knife in her hand. The unsettling video ends with the police having no other option but to tase Brenda and disarm her. Later on, the deputies learned that this wasn't Brenda's first encounter with the law. She was booked and charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Okay, first time you, you guys are, arrested. You want to get out and pee or not? I do, but I would rather pee right here and you guys clean it up at this point. A video posted by a TikToker captured the moment when a woman got into an argument with a fellow passenger on board. Despite severe warnings from the flight attendants to either leave the plane or behave appropriately, she didn't budge. And so, the police had to step in and kick her off the plane. But that's just the beginning. When the officers tried to interrogate her and obtain her details, she completely ignored their questions. Instead, she brought up the fact that she used to be in the army, so no one had any right to kick her off the plane. You have to understand, whenever the airlines tell you to get off the plane, I'm retired the army. I understand. I get every baggage free. I get loaded for free. Why would I act in way? However, her situation went from bad to worse when she was asked for her name, to which she gave the silliest response. Because she was being uncooperative, the officers had no choice but to carry her out in the most embarrassing way possible. However, this didn't stop her from disrespecting them and calling them names. At one point, she even went so far as threatening to urinate in the police van. Okay, do you, you, want, you want to get out and pee or not? I do, but I would rather pee right here and you guys clean it up at this point. The suspect was later revealed to be 24-year-old Simone Bryna Kim. Kim was later slammed with a lifetime ban from the airline and faced charges, including two felonies for battery on a police officer and resisting an officer with violence, along with other additional minor charges. Who knew serving an arrest warrant to a drunk Karen released their most unpleasant side in seconds? Back in 2022, when a police officer approached 46-year-old Sean Malarkey for driving under the influence with her kid in the back seat, coupled with the alleged domestic violence, Malarkey bluntly ignored the officer, acting like she was invincible. Hey, step out of the car right now. Get out of the car. Ma'am, we'll talk about everything, but get out of the car. But of course, it didn't end well for her because the officer was compelled to use force on her. By the time backups arrived, Malarkey was pulled out of her vehicle and handcuffed. But as they escorted her to the police van, she continued to yell and act stubborn. And it gets worse. When Malarkey noticed that none of the officers were engaging in her manic episode, she tried biting one of them. You do get your f***ing hands off me! Cool. Hey, if you keep resisting, get your f that. If you, you know what? I'm gonna charge you with putting your dirty hands on me. Stop moving, let me take off your watch. The officers were later forced to tie her legs to prevent her from continuing to kick them. But as you'd expect, that wasn't enough to keep Malarkey shut as she continued yelling from within the police van. Uh, you I'll meet you guys at the dirtiest okay. dirt bag that I've ever witnessed in my entire life. Do you need anything in regards to your house? I am suing you. 
but that did not age well, as Malarkey was later charged with aggravated DUI, aggravated assault, endangering the health or life of a child, and violation of a bail bond, all of which she pled guilty to. In December 2021, several calls were made to the police, reporting a reckless driver in a blue car. Police immediately identified the car and signaled the driver to pull over. Initially, it looked like a casual traffic stop. However, before the officer could reach the vehicle, the driver zoomed off. The car was later traced and found parked at a gas station. The driver was identified as Jamie Granger. When Jamie was confronted by the cops for speeding off during the traffic stop, she denied everything, claiming she had not seen the officer. You took off from my traffic stop. No, I did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Don't did don't play games with me. You. Yeah, whatever. But the cops were not buying her lies and went on to arrest her. When Jamie realized she wasn't getting her way, she latched onto one of the officer's hands and tried to bite him. Then began yelling outrageous accusations. Let me go. You're gonna get so. You're gonna get bad. Assault, let me go. But it doesn't end there. When Jamie was taken to the police station to be booked, she continued throwing tantrums and remained uncooperative. After her endless drama at the station, Jamie was charged with aggravated DWI and two counts of battery on a peace officer. However, the only thing worse than a lying Karen is a rich and obnoxious one. On Thanksgiving morning, police finally caught up with 38-year-old Ashley Morgan after she fled a traffic stop twice and almost crashed her vehicle into a heavily populated gathering. After being handcuffed, Ashley's reaction to being held accountable for her actions was a typical reaction you'd expect from a Karen, yelling and throwing tantrums like a toddler. <laughs> Police body cam captured the sound of Ashley banging her head against the car window multiple times while screaming. Despite being warned several times to act like an adult, Ashley refused to cooperate with the officers. I, I don't think you see this is my neighborhood. I'm a Snell Isle resident. I live in a $3 million house. No, you did not. Get back in the car now. Back in the car. <laughs> After which, she resorted to verbally abusing the policemen and calling them names. These are losers. I hope you know I am absolutely going to appeal this charge. You monster St. Pete police losers. Ashley was later charged with reckless driving with property damage or injury and resisting an officer without violence. After a Safeway store manager reported to the police that this woman had physically assaulted one of her employees earlier, the on-duty officer located the suspect in no time and tried to talk to her to get her side of the story. Hello, ma'am. My name's Officer Watkins. Just to let you know you're being audio and video recorded. Want to talk to you about the incident that just happened inside a Safeway. What incident? Is there a reason that you slapped the manager? Okay, so let me be clear that you're under arrest and you're not free to leave. You're under arrest and not free to leave. Do you understand that? If you run, fight, or flee, that force could be used against you. Do you understand? However, the suspect refused to engage in a simple conversation with the policeman like an adult. When he asked for her name, she just gave the silliest response and then walked away. What's your middle name? Figure it out, bro. Okay. You're not free to leave. This alone was enough to charge her for evading arrest, but the officer had other plans in mind. The suspect was later recaptured, and this time, the policeman wasn't playing nice anymore. Get your other hand behind your back, otherwise force will be used. Shortly, her Miranda rights were read, and she was thrown in handcuffs. But it gets better. When this Karen realized she was in a big mess, she had no choice but to humble herself and try to get on the cop's good side. But it was already too late. After this video went viral online, several viewers commended the officer for keeping calm all through. The suspect was later slammed with multiple charges, including assault, property damage, and resisting arrest.